if you look back, are you glad that social media wasn't so present didn't exist back then? or exist? Or are you glad that you didn't have people chiming in? Would there have been more pressure? Because I know you have a propensity out for getting online and looking at stuff and looking what people think and like. I, I actually don't, don't do any of that anymore. No, I'm the, I literally stopped. But back in the day, because it was the early, early, early era of, of, of social media. So it wasn't like Twitter. And, but it was, was CryptonSite.com. Yes. Well, it's Krypton site or it was Anus News. Yeah. So, and you know what's funny is a lot of times you'd go, well, I said there was one on Ain't It Cool News, which is a site that well, hey, they they hated us. And I remember the first season, one guy would be like, third, third week I watched it, third week they fucked it up. And you're just going like, you know, but but then I remember Ken Horton going like, yeah, but he's still watching. So he goes, yeah. what's he going to stop watching season four? <laughs> Yeah, but I think I think actually it's something that that question should be something that you guys should answer because I think it's changed actors' lives completely. In some I'm, I'm glad. very glad we didn't have. I'm glad it. we, we didn't have, have cell it. phones on set. No one was distracted, going I like know. this in between takes, taking pictures constantly. I've I've been on sets in the last couple of years where I've I've had to say to the first AD, even the director, can we do something about the phones? Like it's it's just ruining our focus. You know what I mean? Like. And then when I, I did this thing in Italy last year, and the first day, I we had to stop production. We go, okay, whoever wants a picture, now's your time. And I stood there, and every, all the people who wanted pictures came through and got their pictures. And then we really didn't have a camera problem on set anymore. In fact, nobody even paid attention to me anymore because they got their picture. We just had to get it out of the way because they were all sneaking around and trying to photograph things. So I know, it's, I know, it's a um, distraction. Yeah, I know like on on uh, in, on Wednesday, Tim, Tim banned them from the set. So, yeah. um, but then you had the weird thing of, of, you know, what the PR and marketing folks want actors to do is have all this behind the scenes content, which yes. they can then drop no. once the show comes. It's a, it's a weird message. And they want, they want, you know, it's insatiable in terms of how much they want. Like, how, where's the behind the scenes stuff for the actors to make sure they can get it. And then they're not going to get it because they won't have cameras on set or phones on set. So it's like a really. I've been on two sets and separately. They've gone to actors and nominated them as that person who does that for the like the 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 fun actor person who's into it, and I'm like, you know, you're doing a job that like people should get paid for, and they're like, no, but it's fun, I like it, and it's like, all right, you know, guys, this has been awesome. Um, is there anything else you want to mention that when you watched the episode you thought of and you you just really enjoyed or something you took from it? I mean, I, it was a really big. I think I sort of forgot how, what a pivotal episode it was for the series, as Miles said, where where Lex really saw Clark. Knew. What's funny at the fu funny tragic at the end is Lex is being dragged away, and he's the only one who's actually knows everything and is right, and and it's everybody else is working against him. And the fact that even Clark bails on him to protect his own secret is is great. You know what I mean? Like it, it, that's even for Clark. That's a that's he, what he has to do, but he literally leaves his friend there to be dragged off to, uh, you know, to an insane asylum.